Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ and this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent, and sustainable weight loss. I'm the creator of the Ultimate Weight Loss Program and today we're going to be doing a recipe from page 247 called Peachy Quinoa Salad and I have a guest chef in the house. Please welcome Shada Soleimani. Hi Shada, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? And welcome everybody to this special episode. Um, and I'm happy to share this recipe with all of you guys. Um, I absolutely love it because it's so colorful and all my favorite stuff. Colorful, just like your leggings. <laughs> and look at that figure. If you don't know Shada, please go to this YouTube page and look up Shada's story because Shada's lost 120 pounds on the Ultimate Weight Loss Program. It works, you guys. If you follow the program exactly as it's specified, <laughs> this program will work for you. Uh -huh. But if you go off, that's a whole other story. Right. So this is a recipe that Shada contributed. Like I said, it's from page 247, Peachy Quinoa Salad, and she's going to show you how to make it right now. Thank you, AJ. So um, we have quinoa, and I personally like the tricolored quinoa better than just a plain boring white quinoa. And I actually cooked this in the Instant Pot. So if you guys have an Instant Pot, I put two cups of dried quinoa, but rinse it because quinoa has a coating on top of it that you do want to rinse. You don't want to cook just straight out of the box you know, when you purchase it. So two cups of quinoa to three cups of water, and I actually do it for two minutes on manual and I let the pressure come down naturally and look it's all beautiful and fluffy quinoa and every bit of it has been cooked but like I said I love the tri-color because I just think it looks pretty and you know you guys we eat with our eyes so we gotta make the food look good so I'm gonna start adding this is some of the stuff that's in the salad there's black beans there's kidney beans there's corn there's a red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, there's um, cucumbers, onions, cilantro, and I've added um, mint. Mm. And so right now, we're not in the season of um, peaches because it, it's not at its ripest yet. And I like to use fruits that are in season. So I'm gonna do it with mangoes today. And I've been using mangoes and the mangoes are just phenomenal. And this is uh, fresh mangoes that I cut up myself. And that's what we're going to use. And the beauty of this recipe is if you like peaches, use peaches. You like mangoes, use mangoes. You like a different type of bean, use a different type of bean. It's pretty versatile. It's truly whatever you like. How did you come up with this? Again, recipe. these are my favorite stuff that I like to eat. I'm not a fan of garbanzo bean, which is really crazy because I like hummus but I don't like the actual bean itself in a salad. Like, I, I just don't like it. My favorite beans are black beans and kidney beans. So I thought, I'm gonna put that in. I love cilantro, I love fresh mint. Persian cucumbers, okay, I'm, I'm Persian, so guess what? We buy it by the case, so mm -hmm. we always have it. Corn, mango, it's just honestly whatever I like, and it's colorful. Yeah. I wanted something colorful, and then I wanted something easy. This salad, yeah, you're gonna have to prep a little bit, um, but once you've prepped everything, it's bam, 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 it's done. It's right. really easy. So we're gonna start by adding the corn in here. And we're using organic canned corn because we didn't have any organic fruit. Right, and we're using black beans that no salt that I've rinsed. And look at that, it's already becoming even that would be a salad. Even that would be a salad. And so we're going to add the kidney beans. Now, kidney beans are really high in iron. And because I have a little slight, you know, I need more iron. So I like kidney beans. Because you're always pumping iron. Because I'm always pumping. Persian cucumbers. My favorite because you don't have to peel them or seed them. But you need to wash them really, really well. Um, you know, another, if you can't find uh, Persian cucumbers, you can always do this with English cucumbers. Mm -hmm. And just cut them thinly and chop them up finely. So you don't, you know, you don't have do to you do it by hand or do you use one of those little machines? Honestly, I did everything by hand here. Wow. Yeah. And look, and look, and I, and I am anal that I, I like everything sized in a, in a uh -huh. pretty. She's a Virgo, everyone. So we're going to add the yellow and the red bell pepper. 
I don't care for green bell peppers because they're not ripe and they always exactly. give me indigestion. So if you notice, the green is always the cheapest and the red is always the most mm -hmm. expensive. And the reason for that is because when it's red, it's fully ripe. So it goes from when I was staying at um, oh down in Orange County, down in San Diego, Optimum Health Institute. Mm -hmm. We had a garden out there, so we every day we'd go because I thought that bell peppers, when they came, they were either yellow, red, orange, or green. But it turns out, I was watching it, and the green would start to go to a yellow. The yellow would go to the orange, and the orange would turn into mm. red. And I'm like, oh my God. So we're eating it when it's not ripe, when it's green. Right. And, you know, that's not good for us. It, it'll, it'll upset yep. your stomach. It'll irritate it you. It doesn't taste as good And either. it doesn't taste, but the red, the red is, is the so best. sweet. Yeah. And yellow, I think it's fun just for the color mm -hmm. in there. Now we're gonna add chopped red onions, and I know you're a fan of oh, uh, yeah. you're a fan of red onions if, like I am. If a recipe calls for onion, unless I need a sweet onion, I always use red. Exactly for the color and the flavor. Look how beautiful. You guys, look looks. at this. This is already oh very colorful. Amazing. We're gonna add the cilantro. And again, some people don't like cilantro. Leave Guess it out. what? You could add parsley. You could That's add right. fresh dill. There's so many different herbs that you can right. use. You know, to me, a recipe is just a guideline. Mm -hmm. Make it your own. We're giving you a guideline here. Make it your own. Yeah. Add whatever. Stuff Unless you you're like baking, I believe that to be true for recipes. Right. And the reason Shade is making this is because we have our ultimate weight loss live potluck. I'm a huge fan of fresh mint, and I'm not sure if it got into the book about the fresh mint. I'll check in a minute, page 247. Right. But anyway, always add fresh mint. Fresh mint is so I know. tasty. You can't go wrong with mint. Nope, you can't. Oh my god, this smells so amazing. It looks amazing. And now, the pièce de résistance. I might even like it better with mango than peach. Honestly, it tastes good either way. But peachy quinoa is such a exactly, cute Exactly, exactly. But like I said, I don't want to use something that's not in season. And it's not going to be at its ripest. It's not going to be... Oh my gosh, this is going to be a hot luck favorite. I can tell you that right and now. And look, this makes a lot of salad, you guys. So make this for when family's coming over. It's make so it easy. For a poly... Isn't it easy? Beautiful. So if you guys live anywhere in Southern California, Shada hosts a monthly meetup with fantastic speakers along with Zena. And she also teaches cooking classes both Persian and American making these delicious sofas free recipes and actually we are going to do um, a Persian uh, webinar mm -hmm. Gustavo is coming and um, I'm excited to share the Tadik with you guys because I know all you guys are wanting to learn how we make the Tadik and some of the Persian foods and I know you like Khoresh Debe, oh right? Oh my gosh. So yeah, we're going to teach everybody. Are you going to do Gorma Sabzi? I'm going to teach them Gorma Sabzi. I'm right. going to teach them Khoresh de Barmier, which is... Can we is, get uh, Maz Jibrani to come over and eat it? Um, no, but we could... <laughs> <laughs> that, that He's would a be terrific comedian. We're also going to do... Um, it's an okra, okra stew. And I'm also going to teach them how to make a celery stew. Ooh. So... Kind of flavorful but look at that isn't that just gorgeous seriously so are you going to dress it now or wait to the potluck i like to dress it now and put it in the refrigerator because the flavors and the you know with the lemon and all that it's all going to get together and that's the way i like it so you know i didn't have time to go get fresh lemons so i could put the zest in there so we are going to use this it's an organic mm -hmm. lime juice um from santa cruz so we're going to put about a cup to about a cup and a half and then what I've noticed also, you guys, if you don't just like it with the lime, or if the lime's going to upset your stomach, the balsamic vinegar that we use, the Napa Valley balsamic mm -hmm. vinegar, combine the two and pour that on mm. here. It is just off the chart. Okay. It is so tasty. So really, any kind of dressing that you want to put on here is fine. Or even no dressing, honestly. Uh, you don't need dressing because with you've the got, mango, yeah, yeah, you've, the, you've got food in there, fruits in there that are high water content, and the bell pepper, and the, bell and the cucumber. You probably you don't, don't even it. need dressing. You don't need any of it. So it's yeah. completely up to you. But this is it. This is the uh, peachy quinoa salad wow. at its best. That looks amazing. So, do you have any words of wisdom or inspiration for those that are? like you uh, walking, not like you now, but like you were walking around with an extra 100 pounds to maybe give them some hope or inspiration? The, the best thing I can tell you guys, I know it's a day-to-day it's a -day and you gotta keep, keep yourself motivated. And bottom line, it comes down to how badly do you really want this? And I, for myself, 
I had hit rock bottom and there was no going back. I literally would have done anything that AJ or JP would have told me to do. And I had blinders on like this, like this, just like this. And I wasn't looking at anything else and I kept to it 100%, if not 200%. And did I lose some friends over it? Yeah, I did, but guess what? If, if I lost them, so be it. They they're, probably they, weren't really friends. No, they're not, because I tell you what, I am still very socially active, and I still travel, and I still do... Did you do... say socially active or something else active? I said socially. Okay. Why would you think I said <laughs> something else? <laughs> OMG. Uh -huh. oh, no, but... Yeah, I'm teasing. Okay, so... Um, yeah, you, you traveled to Cabo. You've gone on the cruise several times. I have, and... And, and I don't make food an issue for me anymore, because in all honesty... It's not, it shouldn't be about the food. It should be about you having a time with your family, time with your friends, time enjoying life. Life's not about the food. We, we eat to survive. That's the, bit, that's the bottom line. And once you get that in your head, it's really simple. You don't, you don't need to do anything else. You, I don't know, Heather Goodwin, I think, says it best. She says, suck it up, buttercup. Mm -hmm. So guess what, guys? Yeah. Suck it up, buttercup, so and you, just do it. You don't miss the sugar, oil, flour, alcohol, or salt? No, not but, all. I, not the way our food tastes. No, not yeah, the way our food tastes. Ours. And yeah. I've never been a salt person to begin with. So I was lucky in that. Do I see chocolate with, and I kind of want it? Yeah. Do I see some of the, you know, stuff that others are eating? Do I want it? Yeah. But then I start thinking, well, if I eat that, what's going to happen? My weight's going to go back up. I'm not going to be able to buy cute clothes. I'm not going to be healthy. And you know what? It's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it because all it is is a matter of two seconds, literally, that is in your mouth, and then and then it comes out anyway. So what difference does it That's make? Right. So why should I do it? It's not worth yeah, it. Yeah, you're a size two to four now. What size were you before you began the ultimate weight loss was, program? I was um I was one X pushing a two X. Wow. So there's you don't know. I am so highly motivated, and um, there there's no going back and. What I love now is that my friends are starting to do this. Mm -hmm. My friends actually support me, my friend, my true friends. Um, I go to their house and they've made beautiful salads like this and they're eating like this now. As long as I'm there, they're eating like this. They don't make fun of me. I go to restaurants with them, I'll pre-eat. If, you know, if worse comes to worse and I have to order something just because, you know, some, some restaurants have policies that you can't just sit there that, you know, you need to, you need to order something. So I order a raw salad and I get slices of um, lemons and I just I, and I just squeeze lemon juice on there. Um, and I have gone to restaurants where all I've had is an herbal tea or mm -hmm. hot water. So you guys, you can make this work and don't ever, ever let anybody, anybody bullying you into saying that, oh, what are you doing? Oh, you think you're better than us. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Can I say that? Um, let me see. Well, uh, you can say it because I F them. How's that? <laughs> F them. You know what? When I say it, they, they, I get in trouble. Yeah, you F can say it. You're, a, you're a guest. I'm chef, a guest. So. Well, I don't want to say I, I don't want to offend anybody, but really it's, you know, stick to your goals. Stick to what you're doing. You know, um, it's not hard. It really, it really is just one day, one meal at a time and keep it simple. I don't know how much AJ and I have always said simplicity will get you there and if you don't keep it simple you're just going to drive yourself crazy and this salad was really simple this is a simple salad you know like i said you can intermix anything you want in there but don't go chasing recipes i know so many of yeah. you i see that on the board said i want this recipe i want that recipe i want this recipe i if you come to my house i have a stack like this thick of recipes and guess what you never use them no the only time I do, it may be if, if it's a special occasion, if somebody's coming over, but then I'm getting tired of that too, so they're, guess what? They're gonna eat what I eat. And bottom line, it's good. Our food really tastes good. So what hope will you give the people out there that like you are over 100 pounds, or maybe less, but just walking around not feeling good that have tried so many times and have put the weight back on? What could you say now that you've lost 120 pounds and kept it off for over five years, what can you say to inspire these people? All I can tell you is it feels so good to be on this side, you guys. Just stay with it one day at a time, one meal at a time. A bite at a time. A bite at a time, whatever it takes. You know, we're all here to support you guys. We're all here to do whatever it takes, but stick with it. I promise you, it gets easier and easier and easier the longer you do this. 
It may not seem easy right now. It may seem overwhelming, and it, it is overwhelming. But guess what? A month into it, two months into it, six months into it, a year from now, you're going to look back and go, oh, my God, I, I did this. And it's and the rewards are just amazing. Yep. It's amazing. That's what they say. Nothing tastes as good as health feels. Exactly. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Seda. Seda. What's your name again? Seda Soleimani, who contributed a few wonderful recipes to my book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss. And today we did page 247, the peachy quinoa salad with mango playing a starring role. And thank you so much, Shada, for being such an inspiration to so many people. Thank you for getting me to where I need to be. Thank okay. you so much. Sure thing. So there you have it, another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ. With the help of Shada, we both make healthy, taste delicious. Bye, guys.